Hi there, I could not believe my luck when I went to the flea market last Saturday. I actually got um, a lot of luxury items, uh, including um, two Chanel handbags, one Marnie, and one pair of um, Chanel sneakers. And I could positively say 100% that they are all authentic. And I'm going to... Um, do a video on that flea market haul um, featuring Chanel's and everything. I've already done a Marnie video handbag that I got from the flea market and this is another one. Okay, so we have this flea market twice a year. It's an indoor flea market and um, I never expected to get anything luxurious like this. I was just telling you last week when I made the last video, I hope... Somebody would throw away a Chanel bag, um, you know, uh, and I would get them from the thrift shop, but that never happens, of course. Uh, I, my expectations when I go to the thrift shop is just actually, you know, <laughs> it's actually very, very low. So when I went to the flea market, I wasn't expecting this. Okay, so this, I saw this handbag on a Saturday. So it's a two-day affair. I saw this handbag on a Saturday. Okay, so it was hanging. It was actually, um, they had a mannequin with some things inside. And I was like, that looks like a Chanel. But I said, it can't be. I don't see any Chanel logo. Y you know, um, the thing is, I don't own own a lot of Chanel's. And uh, I don't know what their um, models are. I know they have produced a lot of um, handbag designs. And I know that they, they had some clear clear handbags like the see-through handbags but I wasn't sure of the authenticity of um, this handbag so on a Saturday uh, it had a price mark of $65 so I ins inspected the bag and I was like I don't see any C's here there is no indication that it's a Chanel at all except for the quilting and of course and the um, uh, gold leather chain handbag but of course there are a lot of um handbags that mimic chanel so but i was it's uh, when i inspected this i was like this is uh, everything is perfect so it has like a diamond quilting here it opens up the magnetic flap and this is very big this is like 16 inches and look at the quality of the stitchings and i was uh, this looks like the um this is um, lambskin. I was thinking to myself, this is lambskin. This looks like my Balenciaga lambskin city bag in Rogue Cardinal. And I don't see any uh, imperfections here at all, well, except for this one, of course, but that's not um, an imperfection from the production. I think this got caught somewhere. It was just thrown away. So this is a very, very well-used bag. You can just see that. Um, uh, there's cuffings and rubbing in the corner. And, um, yeah, so she was very firm. She said, uh, it's only $40, $65. And I was like, why would I take something that is $65 if I don't even know what, what brand it is? Maybe because it says vintage bag. That, that was the, um, uh, there was a yellow sticker, $65 vintage bag. So I'm like, okay. And this, uh, this, the, the leather already has turned black. Well, not black, <laughs> but you know, when it's like a, when it ages, it goes black. And let me take that out. And okay, so this one, and I was like, hmm, that does look like a Chanel thing. But I said, how come there is no Chanel here at all? I mean, I, I was looking for, for the sticker or just the branding anywhere on the hardware. There is nothing at all. So it just... I was expecting it would be engraved in one of these, one of these, or, but there's nothing at all. So I was like, but, but the a craftsmanship is, you know, just perfection. So I said, okay, uh, maybe not. Maybe I'll do my research. Okay, so we left. And then when I came home. At night, I did my research, and it was very, very hard for me to do to to look for this exact um, for this exact uh, model. And I saw one on Trade C, and they said that it's a it's a summer collection, but uh, she didn't specify what year. And so I was like, uh, I was like, so maybe that was real. So I said to my husband after after church yesterday, maybe we should go back because. 
I can't stop thinking about it. You know, when I can't stop thinking about something, maybe, um, maybe it has the potential. Maybe it's it's uh, um, a Chanel after all. But you know, sixty five dollars is a lot of money if it's not a Chanel. <laughs> but anyway, um, I went back anyway after after mass. We went back. I dragged I dragged the boys, and and. Yeah, and then um, I found something on eBay. Um, it's being offered by this Japanese online retail. Oh well, um, they they have a lot of Chanel's um, and other hand high end handbags on eBay. And I'm like, okay, let let me just measure it and compare it. And and the, I, I was it, and it's actually very very um, accurate. So this is like 16 inches by 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 um four inches by 12 inches so when i compare the measurements they're um absolutely you know um the same very precise so i went to tradesy as well because there's one over there that was being offered for i think 850 if i'm not mistaken because the one on ebay is 720 okay so let me just show you this Okay, so on eBay, so it's exactly, exactly the same to the point of uh, um, the, the giveaway for me was the sides and of course the interior, which is, um, where's the interior? Oh, let me see. Okay, so the interior is exactly the same. See, interior on this bag and it's offered uh for seven hundred twenty dollars formerly it was seven hundred seventy five and uh it's they call it the matelas um quilted lambskin and yeah and it's exactly the same so although i think uh the owner already took the uh sticker off down here so so I was like, so it's exactly the same everything to the point of in the stitching in the core uh in the center. So I told my husband, I'm just going to make a, um, I'm going to offer her. I said, how about 30? Because she told me, okay, so this is very, very funny. Because when I went back, I told her, I'm thinking about this. I said, I came here yesterday. But um, she said to me, well, somebody told me, my daughter told me actually that this is a Chanel. Actually, I bought this my myself from the Chanel store. She said, 50 years ago. 50 years ago in in Manhattan because my 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 husband is a phys physician and I bought bought it for 300 bucks 300 dollars from the Manhattan store and I didn't even know who she was that she was a famous designer they said it's a Chanel my my daughter said that I shouldn't be um that I should not uh, put it out for sale because it's Chanel but you know I said but there's nothing that says Chanel <laughs> and and she said I I know but but I would never buy a knockoff all my uh, my, my my husband is a physician I have money so everything that I own is is authentic and I don't buy replica or whatever so but anyway I was just trying to I know um try trying to um um, to make conversation with her and um, and so she told me okay well the best thing that I can do because she said 50 and I said how about uh, how about uh, 40 and she said okay was it 40 yeah I think I paid her 45 or 40 something like that because I asked sixty dollars from my husband, and I got something else, and and so um, yeah, I think forty bucks. Yes, it's forty bucks, definitely forty bucks, if not forty five. Okay, so uh, th that is my story, and it's very very um very very funny, and at the same time, uh, you know, there's a I, I came back two times for this. And because I had a hunch already, although it didn't have a name because, you know, vintage Chanel's won't have the stickers anymore, some of them. Uh, but that doesn't mean that they're fake if they have um, no stickers in them anymore. Because, you know, um, people just didn't care about those stickers and they would just take, take them off easily because it's just, um, I think some of them think that it's a, it's like it, it bothers them because the sticker was actually there. So she said to me, 
uh, this is a workhorse handbag. I've, I've worn it to death, and uh, but um, you know I don't want to let it go. If it's, uh, I think she said uh, fifty dollars uh, uh, because I asked uh, thirty, and she said no, fifty dollars is my last. But then she eventually said, okay, you can have it for forty, and. I was, I was, I was, you know, I'm just happy that she gave it to me for that, for that prize. Now, my next um, move would be to have this scent just to, um, actually, there's nothing wrong with this bag. It, it, I could just, um, I could just use it as is because, you know, I, I know that this is like a summer tote or um, like a utility bag or whatever you want, but it's just that the, the, the lambskin is just so soft the lambskin look at that and you can just see the patina and everything so um the oils actually will darken this and uh yeah so i said if this is a knockoff this is a good knockoff but definitely this is not um i'm not a chanel expert but i could tell that this is an authentic one i just don't know what here because the one on Tracy says it is a summer collection and it looks like it's a very, very new handbag. So I'm not sure, but she said that she bought this for uh, 300 bucks 50 years ago. Imagine that 50 years ago. But anyway, so there. And um, also this one. Okay. I also found this. <laughs> I also found this from a different vendor and... Um, I said, oh, I, I recognize that. It's a Carolina Herrera. Okay, so she's a very famous um, Spanish designer and her handbags are covetable. In fact, I saw one at the um, thrift store the last time and it was $30. The canvas bag, the small, tiny one, I wasn't so impressed. So, I, I, you know, I didn't get it. So I said, okay. So uh, she told me that this is a photo holder. Uh, she does, doesn't actually know it because she said, this is just $2. <laughs> and I said, can I get it for one? And she said, oh, yeah. But this is from another vendor. And I was just laughing because she said that it's a photo holder. So, of course, I could uh, put the pictures of my two sons and my husband and me, you know. So, and I said, can I have it for, for, for $1? She said, yeah. And then it says, of course, they're made in Spain. So, I'm like... I'm loving this. <laughs> so I'll never, um, never, never underestimate um, uh, flea markets again because um, uh, the, I read something that she got um, an authentic Chanel for $25 at the flea market. It's on YouTube. And so this is my luck. In fact, I got another, um, another one and I'm going to discuss it with you again in another segment. Okay, so... So I'm just very, very lucky. So, so yesterday, one of my intentions was to uh, go to that same vendor that sold me the money bag who overcharged me. I paid her twice and she didn't tell me. I just wanted to um, tell her that, hey, I paid you twice. Why did you not tell me? I was looking for the cash instead. instead. And, and uh, she didn't tell me that, uh, that I paid her twice. Okay, so why did she accept the second payment that I told her if uh, that I gave her if she was indeed honest? So I was just really, really upset. But I said to myself, okay, because we went to church. And so I said to myself, if it's going to uh, please guide me, Lord, if I'm going to um, confront this woman for being dishonest or just let it go and you will give me something nicer, you know. And um, yeah, I guess this was worth it. So I went back there and I spent a total of $60 for other things. This was $40. So I think I did good. Okay, so let me know what your thoughts are on this bag. And if you know the exact um, the exact uh, year this was um, manufactured. Because I plan to have this... Um, respod but i think there's no point having it respod because you know um it's supposed to be i mean it adds character i know that if it gets really really worn out like really falling apart and peeling off that's the time i would have to um send it because i'm i'm saving up my money for the caviar gst i still have to pay 
um, the leather surgeon, I think $435, something for um, just respa and uh, things like that. So I'm saving up my money for that. In the meantime, I can still use this. It's functional and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's a head turner. It's just that it's too big. But anyway, I think when I go to the beach or the museum, I could definitely use this. Okay, so there you go. Bye.